still go. Okay, it ended. That was a long resonance. <laughs> hey, my name is Abby Sudweeks, um, mandolin player here in Provo, Utah. And I play with the Fabled Folks. We're, uh, we're kind of a genre-bending, acoustic, bluegrass-influenced band. Anyway, here to demonstrate the close carbon fiber mandolin. This is the prototype, by the way. This is the first one that they've made so far. They're coming out with newer mandolins with little adjustments, um, little improvements. But um, this one, already just right off the bat, having played Billy in the low ground, I noticed the resonance. <laughs> so you notice we uh, held onto that last note for a very, very long time. So resonance is definitely there and ease of play. I normally play on an Eastman ND 315. And personally, just playing around on this, this felt a little bit more comfortable. And I was able to slide around on the neck a little bit more easily, um, glide over the, the different strings a little bit more easily. So that was a really cool thing to experience there. In preparation for this demo, I posted on a forum to kind of get ideas of what you guys might want to hear in the carbon fiber mandolin demo. And those are kind of the things that we will be covering today. Next, what we're gonna do is test out some of the resonance over the different positions on the neck, and we'll also play some more tunes that will illustrate that as well. But here are some individual notes for you to listen to. So already I'm noticing the notes that have the more sympathetic vibrations, those to me seem like they're lasting more than 10 seconds. The notes like the C sharp that doesn't have as many sympathetic vibrations over the neck, to me that was lasting around like seven seconds. Um, so pleasantly surprised there. Let's try just a few more here. Mandolin sure liked that last note, didn't it? So I feel like it's got great resonance overall, just comparing it to my Eastman that I have. I don't know if I want to say it's more, but it does seem to be about the same spot as an Eastman ND315. So I'm going to play some of a Bach partita for you, the one that's an E major. So to demonstrate tremolo and more dynamic range on the mandolin, I've decided to play you Lonesome Moonlight Waltz by Bill Monroe. some tremolo for you. Uh, to further illustrate the dynamic range and different positions on the mandolin neck, I'm going to play a little arrangement that I made of Josephine's Waltz, kind of a cross-picking arrangement that goes all over. So, here we go. Thank you. 
the biggest thing I'm noticing as I play through these different tunes is um, as I'm playing, my strings are staying in tune the whole time. <laughs> it's really awesome to be playing through Josephine's Waltz, for example, that eventually shifts up to the neck and like everything is in tune up there as well as it is in tune down here. Um, I was especially pleased with how in tune the box stuff sounded right here. The that's not always the case on my mandolin. It's always liking to, it always likes to go out of tune basically. So this thing is staying in tune like a champ. I was also very pleased with the, um, the warmth of the tone that I was getting on Josephine's Waltz. I wouldn't say that it sounds exactly the same as a wooden instrument, but it sounds pretty dang close. Like it's got a brightness to it, a bit of a warmth to it. Um, and honestly, the fact that it just stays in tune <laughs> just adds to that tone quality so much more. It just makes everything resonate together very nicely, all those sympathetic vibrations. So very happy with how that is sounding. in there. I'm noticing a good amount of, um, I don't know if we can call it bass in mandolin world, be technically the mids, but um, the mandolin bassier notes are coming out really well on these chords, which I kind of prefer sometimes when people, you know, really go for these chords in their playing. It kind of is abrasive to my ears sometimes because those highs are just really high. So I kind of like that on this mandolin, the highs seem to be a little bit rolled off, so to speak. If you're playing in a group or a band, those really, really tiny nuances in tone, nobody's gonna notice anyways, especially if you're plugged in. Um, I really think that this mandolin is going to be a really great thing to have with you, especially if you're playing a gig that's outside and you need to stay in tune and still sound great and have everything just really resonate together. I think this is a super great option. All right, we're gonna wrap up here with um, some Big Country by Bela Fleck. I'm gonna do a cross-picking version that um, I do with my band. And I chose to do this because it's going to show off a little bit of the upper G strings range. And yeah, so here we go. 